Hey guys, welcome back to some more Oblivion. We're continuing on part two of our race. Uh, last time we died in the first part because we're playing on the max difficulty that me and Danny can cope with. Because Oblivion, the difficulties are pretty difficult. And we are racing to see who can finish it first. If you haven't watched the first part of this, you should go back and watch that so you know the full story of what's going on. Because what I just did was a brief description, but I gave a whole description last episode. And I'm not explaining it again, because otherwise every episode I'll end up explaining it. And that'll just get boring. So, we died last time. We're going to try not to die this time. And we're going to try and get as far as we can without dying. Because dying sets you back quite a way. But, at the time recording this, I'm like quite pleased. Because I have recently been asked to take part in a Left 4 Dead 2 playthrough with my other channel I'm collaborating with which is the Millennium Knights and there'll be a link to them in the description as well but I haven't done it yet so yeah don't don't specifically look for my video of Left 4 Dead 2 but they are quite a good channel they post quite a few decent gameplays so you should just check them out as them and I'll let you know as soon as my videos go up. However, I do also have one duel that I did with a kid in my form uh, on his channel. And that channel's Geeks Gone Mad. That'll also be in the description. But I'll put yeah, yeah. I'll I'll put his channel in the description, and I did a. Uh, Team Fortress 2 duel with him because he did one with his friend and I didn't really like it because they kept going back, back for health like both of them very frequently so it was kind of against the point of a duel so because I disagreed with this video I took part in one to show him how it's done and even with the handicap of no gathering health I still did a lot better than poor James. So, that will be in, linked in the description. Well, their channel, and there you can find Dan's video of the TF2 duel. And that'll be quite a good thing to watch because that was very fun. Uh, what's this on about? Right, any useless stuff we can get rid of. Bones, go away. Skulls, they can go. Uh, torches, they don't wear anything, so I don't mind. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think we're fine. We are. Now, I would take an iron war. Yeah, I knew that would happen if I took the iron warhammer. Uh, I'm just going to see if I have any food, because if I have food, I'm just going to eat that. Restore a bit of my health. I do. No, I don't think that actually did anything. Uh, I'll just drink some potions. Yeah, so it doesn't work like Skyrim. I forgot about that. Just now. Just equip myself a bit. There you go. All packed out now. It's not eating food to heal you anymore, is it? <sighs> I have to get used to that. Wow, really? We're still overweight? How much are we overweight by? That's seven. Damn it. Uh, club. That weighs eight. I'm not going to use that. Right, off we go. Now this will probably be a frequent problem 
that will probably actually slow me down as well in the race because I do collect so so much you know in games like this and ah oh, see that again right stuff that I mean often in games like this I'm overcome because I see stuff I think it's useful I pick it up only later to discover that it's really not useful but I don't know until then so it's kind of annoying because I walk slower and half the time I have to drop useless stuff which if I don't have enough of because I think things are useful then I'm kind of stuffed because I end up chucking useful stuff away Mushrooms. Ah, potions. Not taking any. Ah, searching this. Get on. Ah, it's quite good actually. Right. So. Uh, you can hotkey item. Ah, I don't like hotkeying. I never like hotkeying on any game. Stink horns. Wow. What a great name for a mushroom or whatever that is. Okay. Just search some more of them. Oh. The natural caverns. I think we're finally going to escape now. I might be wrong, but I hope so. Forgot we had that shield as well. Uh, clay bowl does nothing to me, none of those will do. And I did a shovel, so I'm not taking any of that. Hasn't seen you, maybe you should sneak up on him. It's a good idea. While the eye is dim, they don't know you're there. Right. Damn it, he's on. Oh yeah, take him down like a boss. That makes me the boss, by the way. Not him. It's not it's not good to be taken down. In fact it's quite annoying. <laughs> Yeah, so. Ah, oh, yes, my lockpick. I'm good at lockpicking. Because my favourite guild was the Thieves Guild in Skyrim. I didn't really join any guilds in this, but this time I'm going to have to. Because obviously, one of the main challenges for this is doing all of the guilds, including the arena. Because we can in that as a guild. So. Maybe I'll find a new favourite kill. You never know. But hopefully what I've heard isn't true because I'm normally quite an archer but I've heard the bows in this game aren't too good. So I might actually have to turn into a sword and shield guy. Which I think I might do. the hell he set a trap for me cheeky bugger uh, take bones no uh, it's just a random stick in the middle of nowhere right come on keyboard stop wasting time rat uh, chest yes Take some more arrows. What's that? Iron dagger and gold. One of the few things I don't like about this game is so dark. Now, we're coming up to the 10 minute mark, so I end the video here, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.